Everybody close your eyes real quick for three seconds. Close your eyes tight. And I want you to repeat after me. I'm throwing my ego out the door. We are in Las Vegas in the jungle. And what happens in Vegas? What happens in this jungle? Stays in this jungle. Okay, open your eyes. I need you guys to put the egos out and be honest with yourself. Welcome to the jungle. And the four animals assessment, what we're going to do is we're going to determine, and there's an assessment that goes with this, uh, not written, it's a drag and drop, but I do it in facilitation just so everybody can see your personality type. And then we're going to talk about how to communicate and how to make things work in not just your job or work environment, but even at your house. There are four animals in this jungle. There's a lion, say lion. There are flamingos, say flamingo. That, well, anybody tell me what this little guy around here is? This, that, mm. And we know that's a turtle. These are the four animals in the jungle. Right now, I see I don't see people no more. Y'all were people when we started. What I see right now, I see lions, I see chameleons, I see flamingos, and I see turtles. All in the room. These are the characteristics of a lion. Very strong, very aggressive. A lion is a protector and dominant. Flamingo, you're bright, you're showy, you're social, you're pink. How many flamingos do I have? Chameleon, changing, adaptable, mild manner. Adaptable, let's key in on that, adaptable. How many chameleons? Turtle, perfectionist, slow, calculated, accurate. That's a turtle, a turtle is gonna be methodical. How many turtles I got? Who's a turtle? Who's a turtle? Now, let me say this, let me preface this. Every one of us has some of these traits. But this one dominant that's aggressive and takes the lead on the other. I am a lion. That's, I'm very dominant, I'm aggressive, I try to get things done. My second most dominant trait is that flamingo. I'm kind of social, I'm talking to people, I'm like getting you up and going. That's it, I ain't got none of the rest of it. <laughs> like very little, that, this guy right here, I don't even know if he exists. That is not me, let's just get it. But your shoes ain't tied, I don't care, let's go. I, just, I gotta get done. Um, there are some of us that are gonna be turtles and yes, your dominant trait. It doesn't mean anything personal. It just means that that is a characteristic that sticks out more. There's a lion in you somewhere, right? And I'm not saying that you need to pull a lion out. We just wanna identify where you belong in this jungle, in work, in life what your dominant characteristic is, because once we know that, we can key in on those strengths. I need all my lions, all my lions stand right here. Flamingos, raise your hand. All my flamingos, right over here. Okay, all my chameleons right here. Turtles, raise your hand. First question. In your group, I need you to, to agree to the most dominant strength you have in your group as an animal. Like after we talked about those characteristics, what is the most dominant in your group? Agree to the characteristic you dislike most about your animal. All right, go. Everybody in the room, we all got some of these characteristics, but there are some that are just dominant over the other ones. Now, there's no right or wrong. There's no good or bad. Every characteristic has its strengths. Every animal has its strengths, and every animal has its weaknesses. The way that we get the job done is by understanding the language of each animal so that we can communicate. So it is speak the language of the people. 